Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you how I finally um, fill in my travel journal. And uh, this is a journal, travel journal, travel journal to Singapore. And I actually just, um, it's it was an education trip from my university and it's called Singapore Quest. So I just write it down here. And I also uh, write down the dates, which is from 4 to 8th of November 2016. This is actually just a washi tape and this is a sticker. Oh my god, I can't talk today. And this is actually a sticker from Let's Paper Up. I just uh, love how it looks, how uh, it says I love travel. And I just love it, so I put it down here. So yeah. Um, the first page uh, is just a schedule and also a trip information. In here, I actually just put on a post-it uh, that I use to remind myself of what things I haven't put in my um, luggage and also the things that I should wear. And this is just a flip out of my schedule. So this is why I write down plan schedule in here. and. On this uh, right side, I have my trip information. I just write down that uh, this uh, Singapore Quest is actually an educational trip, and also uh, it is a partnership with Yale and US, and also Extended Wings. And this is the theme of Extended Wings. They got four people here, and then I put down here how much that I bring and how much I bring back to Indonesia, and also I write down that I was sick during um, this trip i was actually sick a week before i go so it was sad but it's it's not a big deal since i just got a flu so yeah it, it's fine and then next i have my packing list here i write down every single thing that i should uh bring in my trip and i actually have to check list here first is uh for going to singapore and then the second one is actually for uh, me to check before I go back to Indonesia but I didn't actually get the time to check my things one by one so I just left it uh, blank and I write down the clothes that I want to bring and then why this is a lot is because I write down which piece I want to bring so I, I, I don't like just write down two t-shirt but I write down the t-shirt that I want to bring so that's why I have a lot of things here and then I write down the toiletries and also makeup that I want to bring uh, my documents and then electronic or gadgets here and then some etc like uh, reading books um, hair tie and things like that and this is just a post-it for me to actually um, write down the medicines or uh, and or vitamins that I want to bring uh, during my trip so that's that next I have my flight information uh, written down here so I just uh, cover it up with some post-it uh, so in here is my flight info from Indonesia to Singapore and then this is for the flight to, from Singapore to Indonesia and I just write down the flight number and um, the departure and also arrival information in here and then on the right side I have my hotel information and this is just the card holder hotel card holder and I actually stayed in a Queen Heritage Hotel in Jujiat so th this is it uh, on the uh, inside of the folder they have this Wi-Fi information and then the hotel information and I just have this um, too so this is the card of the hotel or restaurant they have this uh, in the desk so I just take one and then this is uh, where I write down the hotel information and also how much I actually paid for it so that's just for a future reference 
and why I actually take this voucher is because uh, they write down the extended wings here and also I have my room number so it's just for memory things fortunately my roommate uh, didn't want to take this so it's fine for me to take it so that's that and I also have some um, photos of the hotel and also my hotel room here so that's that so going to the um, like main part of this book is my day-to-day -day journal so this is for day one and I actually make a flip out because I just bear to page for one day so and I actually like how flip outs work so that's that so this is uh, when I was in still still in the immigration and this is the form that I have to fill and then this is uh, a selfie from uh, my friend's phone so it's when we just want to go out and then this is uh, the view of Singapore from the bus that we take um, that's that and then this is our first destination which is Haji Lane this is uh, some scenery and yeah the things that I saw in there and I just write down uh, like my thought my first thought of Singapore here and also we take several um, group photos and we actually also visit a shop called um, Shop Wonderland it is actually uh, like florist and also cafe here and we have some um, sh sharing session with the owner of how uh, she actually started uh, as a tif Tiffany chair suppliers and how she actually changed from that kind of business to how Shop Wonderland is uh, right now and uh, this is like the interior of um, the Shop Wonderland and they also give us this pretty and also delicious cake um, so that's that and next we actually went to um, the Marilyn Park I hope you can see it yeah so this is just a photo <laughs> of my feet and the Singapore 50 logo and this is like some photos that I take in Marilyn Park and this is like a mandatory planner selfie just because I want to take it and then we also take some photos um, in here but we don't actually stay there for a long time since we don't have anything to do there as well and the last destination for um, day one is the garden by the bay and these were some photos that we take. We actually stay there until night because we reached there like around four or five in the afternoon. So we just stay there until night. So we get to uh, see the light show. And also this is the beautiful skywalk, but unfortunately I just know it before we went back and it cost like I don't know it's it's pretty expensive for me so I didn't go there but that's that and also I write down about um, a friend that we just met uh, her name is Cynthia and he, she is very kind she uh, she accompanies me and my friend um, like the whole day and yeah she is very fun and I just very grateful that uh, I met her and I just write down about her and also put down some uh, photos of me and her so that's that for day one on the side I actually um, write down my thought uh, about uh, day one and it's actually a lot as you can see here but that's that and I always uh, this is actually the post it that I write down before so this is actually a rundown of what I did today so that I don't forget anything and also the expenses of uh, the day okay so that's it for day one next is um, day two 
so I this is the same so I just this is a process of uh, what I did um, for that day and also the expenses and for day two I actually don't um, have a long flip uh, I don't know, dip in flip out yeah that uh, because I don't have a lot of photos here um, because for day two we actually did a lot of in class activities and so yeah this is all the photos of the day uh, of the day two I just um, have a photo of the breakfast and also um, the campus and the class and this is like the photos of me this is from the camera of the comedy so i just grab it and print it out and put it here uh this is our lunch and this is some photo some like group photos that we have um with the assistant professor of yale and us and this is the fgd that we had uh, with some students of Yale and US and um, at night we actually stroll around and uh, around the hotel and we find this um, cafe uh, that's called Kobe and we tried out their um, cake and it was super delicious so that's that and we also um, went to a supermarket and like bought um, water and snacks and thing like things like that and we also bought this um, Yakult since it's it's different from what we have in Indonesia uh, it, it's huge it's um, bigger and it has several tastes so I just write down the taste here the flavors here <laughs> sorry and for uh, the tip in here I just write down what we actually did, uh, like what I'm feeling about that day and also here is the name card of the workshop giver uh, um, for the day so that's that next for day 3 uh, I have some similar things this is the post-it and yeah so uh, with, I have some photos of the things that we do and also our lunch and this is some photos uh, that we take in the campus and this is uh, in the campus as well and in the afternoon we actually went to Orchard Road and I just write it down here uh, we uh, actually met a friend there and we take some photos and we went to dinner and this is some um, corgis that we actually saw there it's for the promotion of the crown and they actually gave me this so I just tape it here and I actually also bought a peppermint choco chip sandwich which is amazing they don't have this flavor anymore in Indonesia and it's it's very sad because I love it very much but yeah I just bought it even though I was sick and yeah that's that next uh, I put down my MRT ticket here because it, it uh, it's my ticket for the whole trip in Singapore and on this day is my very first day um, going out with MRT so I just write down how the process was and this is some photos this is the photos of the ticket and also the pools we actually take some photos inside and outside of the train and we actually walked um, from the station to our hotel and we actually met a friend at the station so we just randomly take photo there and we actually I and my roommate actually just um, take some photos in the hotel room um, that night so this is some of them and I just put down a washi here that says friend to friend heart to heart and uh, this night we actually weren't sleeping because we have a final presentation that we have to do from a case so we did the case uh, today and also uh, I write down some lol moment here and this is just another um, name card here from the 
facilitator today and also I write down my comments about the day here and that's for day um, 3 and this is day 4 which is actually supposed to be my uh, our last day in um, Singapore uh, it is the last day of the Singapore quest so this is actually the last day of uh, our visit to Yelan US so I take some photos there and we also did the final presentation today and this is the lunch that we have and after the uh, program is ended we actually went to Sentosa Island but unfortunately it was raining though uh, it's, it's not a heavy rain but it still rained but yeah that that uh, we only went to the beach and then we decided to actually just roll around a little bit and then um, buy a milk tea from Gongcha and we just uh, have some conversation with some people uh, some of our friends and things like that and then we decided to uh, move to Universal Studio take some photos there and since it's already late in the afternoon we don't go inside the Universal Studio and uh, we decided to um, go to People City uh, have some shopping there before we went to Bukit Street so we actually went to Bukit Street did some shopping and buy some food and things like that this is the things of uh, the list of things that I bought uh, I bought two uh, long sleeves for 20 Singapore dollar and I bought so some chocolates for my family and actually found this pretty um, frame of Singapore and I bought it in a shop uh, in a stamp shop inside of Bukit Street which I was totally grateful that I found them because I was almost tempted to buy everything but fortunately I didn't and that's that and I here also write down the comments for that day but since I already write a long uh, journaling uh, here I don't have a lot to write down here so that's that and this is our extended uh, day in Singapore. It's only me and my friend. Uh, no, several people are also uh, extending, but uh, we go our separate ways. So that's that. Because yeah, we have uh, different flights and things like that. So I just have. We was just. It's just the two of us, and we actually uh, left our luggage in the hotel after we check out. So this is the card of. Uh, proof that we left it there and for us to take our luggage and we <laughs> of course need to have a selfie in front of the hotel just because and we actually um, went to Chinatown and this is when we have we are in our way there uh, because our hotel is not near from the station the MRT station so we need to walk from our hotel first and this is when we reach um, the Chinatown uh, we actually uh, go take off in a mall so we just roll around a little bit and then this is when we actually go out this is the first scenery that we found so it's it's very pretty so we decided to take photos there first next uh, we actually went to Pagoda Street and this is the pagoda and the street um, beside it and uh, this is the pagoda street this is the if i'm not mistaken this is the back side of the pagoda and there's also a mosque there so we just take photos there and we actually found this tintin shop which is very pretty it's very unfortunate that i'm not a big fan of tintin because the price is pretty much expensive for me to buy something a collector goods that i'm not a big fan of so i just write down uh, my comment about this and then the comments about the chinatown environment and things like that and um we actually went for uh, lunch there 
because we don't have the breakfast in the hotel so we went there for culinary and foodie mood but when we reached there, the, the, the stalls are not open yet so we just take some photos, take some selfies when we're while we're waiting and then we tried three um, dishes first is roti, roti prata with chicken curry and I just write down my comments of it and then we tried laksa and also es kacang and the thing that I love the most is the roti prata because it's wonderful and I just love it very much and this is actually a very long um, flip out because yeah it, it, it got like one two three four five pages and yeah that's that wait a minute so in here um, it's when we go we want to go back to our hotel to take our luggage we actually went through this park and we saw a lot of birds just being there chilling out so we decided to take photos there because it's very pretty and it's, it's actually very rare for us to find in Indonesia so we were just being amazed and because it's our last day in um, Singapore we decided to take the, a photo in front of the MRT station uh, this is in Outram Park if I'm not mistaken and because it's not that crowded we just we can take a photo there so that's that and I just write down our trip from Chinatown to the hotel what we did like we change clothes and things like that and then we go back oh no we go to the Changi Airport and this is uh, in Changi Airport they actually are having a Christmas decoration but it's not open yet it's very unfortunate actually but but it's very pretty still and we still have some photos inside of the airport even though we are almost late for the flight but yeah we still got the time to actually take photos and things like that and this is when we were uh, inside of the plane and I'm very grateful that I can finally try the subway sandwich because I was craving for it and uh, I didn't get to buy it uh, from the day uh, 3 or 4 I actually tried to find out some subway stalls but I didn't get to find any and uh, when I found one it's like we're in a rush so we cannot stop and just buy this Fortunately, we get to find this uh, subway stall in the, your airport and I finally tried it out and I love it very much like uh, The bread was awesome the, and I love how we can actually customize it to what we like and yeah, so that's that And this is uh, a, a folder that I made. I just uh, leave my um, flight ticket and also some receipt that I have and also the ribbon from Shop Wonderland here so that's that and this is um, like my comment about the day again because I already write down a long uh, journaling here I don't have a lot of things to write down here so that's that and th again this is my post-it for day 5 and the last page was um, for my learning and turning points um, page so I have one, two, three, four, five here. I just use washi tape to mark um, every single point. So first thing is the first thing that I learned is that sometimes logic goes creativity, and I just write down why I think of that. And then the second is how we should never underestimate others and just do our best and learn from others and just improve. And then the third one is how we should never judge people from the outside appearance uh, or their behavior uh, simply uh, when we just know them because uh, yeah, there's a, a story here and then um, and that it never hurts just to be friendly and I just write down why I write that and the last one is to always be grateful and because it's your light in the dark so this is the five points 
five major points that I learned uh, during my trip in Singapore. Of course, I learned a lot of things, but this is like the major points that I always want to remember. And back here, I uh, have my uh, left out leftover stickers and I, I moved the one here to here because I put my coins um, in the bottom pocket here I have um, I don't know how much here is it? one two three three point six Singapore dollar because I'm not sure if I can um, uh, convert it to rupiahs again uh, my other leftover money has been uh, changed again to convert it again to rupiah but I want to keep this coins because it's yeah it, it's quite much but it's not that much so it's okay for me to keep it unfortunately my 10 cents is I don't have any leftover 10 cents and it was very sad because it's it's very cute it's like small and yeah um, but, but, but but never mind so that's the last page of uh, my Singapore travel journal I hope you enjoyed this video and you find inspiration maybe from uh, how I actually set up my video uh, how I set up my travel journal and um, yeah if you like this video please don't forget to thumbs up and if you have any question leave them in the comments comment box down below and yeah if you want to see more about uh, my planner journal <laughs> setup uh, subscribe to me so um, you will get notification when I post a new video and you can also follow me on Instagram my planner Instagram is at pepper pen plan so you can follow me there and have some more written updates about my planner and journal and things like that so yeah once again i hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye